I am really stoked for the next 10, 20 years of my life because, you know, I'm, I'm going to go out, I'm going to do things, you know, I'm going to have fun and I'm going to pursue my dreams and I'm just going to, I'm going to live life. I'm going to experience it. I'm going to live it to, to its fullest. And I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited to do that, you know? Yeah, well, I hate to burst your bubble there, buddy, but, uh, you're not going to be able to do any of that 10, 20 years from now because... Our country's gonna be in the crap hole. Why is it gonna be in the crap hole? Because at that point, the Democrats will have taken over and you know, there are gonna be homeless people running amok on the streets and you know everyone's gonna be spying on us through iPhones and you know the Chinese are gonna come and wage war on us. It, yeah, you're just, you're not gonna be able to do any of that stuff, so. Yeah, sorry. Dude, you don't know that. I do know that, actually, because our country is already in the crap hole. So, any hopes and dreams that you may have, just throw them away. Me and my friends, uh, you know, we're building a doomsday shelter in the wilderness. We've got room for three. So I suggest that you start planning on moving in there with us in the near future so that you can help us fight off the Democrats. Yeah, I'm not living in a doomsday shelter with you guys, okay? Okay, well have fun living in a concentration camp because if you're not a Democrat, that's where you're gonna be living. Okay, you know what, I'm done talking about this. Uh, the new Ant-Man is coming out. I'm really stoked to see it. I think it looks super good. You're gonna go see the new Ant-Man. Well, yeah, duh, I love the Marvel movies. Of course I'm gonna go see it. Yeah, so Marvel is owned by Disney and Disney is very liberal-minded. So if I were you, I would not support them and give them money because they're just going to use that money to partner up with the Democrats and the Democrats will wage war on the Republicans and we'll all be screwed. So don't go see this movie. Okay, you know what? Fine. If it's going to make you happy, then I will not see it, okay? Huh. Did you um, see Ghostbusters Afterlife? Um, I hated Ghostbusters Afterlife, okay? It is so woke. Okay, wait, hold on. You hated a two hour long movie all because there's one super brief woke reference that's not even two seconds long. Uh, yeah. Dude, talk about getting politically hung up. That's crazy. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. You're crazy. Okay, you are out of your mind. You are crazy. Yeah. Say that again when you're living under Chinese rulership. Okay, you know what? Screw you. Screw all this. I'm done. Okay, I'm out of here. Sorry. Hey, wait, get back here right now. Okay, let me clear something up real fast. I am not a Republican and I am not a Democrat. I am not a conservative and I am not a liberal. I am an American man who loves his country, who cares about his country and who is proud to be an American. I am a firm believer in freedom of speech. In other words, I hate cancel culture with every fiber of my being. I don't get very involved in politics and that is a choice because I just want to live my life. It's it's a bunch of unnecessary drama that I really don't need in my life. Yeah, it's it's a lot of, there's a lot of negativity there. Maybe everyone just try to be a little bit more positive about the future of the country. You know, being negative about it, it's it's obviously not making anything better because uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I admit we are not in the best place right now. What will help us get better is if you know we can be more positive about the future. So yeah, just take that into consideration and uh, yeah, happy President's Day, everyone.